Hello and welcome to my video all about how to make succulents out of felt. This video is part of a series where I'm going to show you how to make a whole variety of felt plants. These are all cut out by hand so you don't need a cutting machine and you don't even need to print out a template because I'll be showing you how to make the templates from scratch. I've grouped these three particular designs together because they're all made from individual leaf shapes. In order to follow along you're going to need some felt, a pair of scissors, some paper, a disappearing or magic fabric pen, a ruler and some glue. For the felt I use some wool blend craft felt in a variety of green colours and for the glue I use UHU all purpose adhesive. Basically you just need something clear and fast drying. Ok so for the first design you'll need paper rectangles measuring 5 by 3.5 and 2 by one5 centimetres. Draw around these templates onto your felt using a fabric pen. You'll need to draw out 5 of the large size template and 7 of the small size. Then cut out these shapes. Then cut each piece of felt into a leaf shape, like so. I like to keep a small straight edge on one end to go on the base of the plant. Although it is possible to use leaf shape templates in the first place, I find it much quicker to cut out the rectangles first. Then apply a small amount of glue to the right hand edge of 6 out of the 7 small felt pieces. This line of glue should go from the flat base most of the way up the side, but it should stop before the point. Attach these pieces together like so into an arch shape. Once this has dried, apply a line of glue across the base of these leaves. Roll these leaves up from either end into a spiral. This is going to be the centre of the plant. Then you just need to attach the large leaves evenly around the outside of this centre. Only put glue on the base of these larger leaves, not too far up, otherwise the glue will be seen. Then just leave it to dry and that's it, one plant finished. For the next design it's very similar to the previous one but you're going to need paper rectangles measuring 5 by 3.5, 3.5 by 2.5 and 2.5 by 1.5 centimetres. Then use a fabric pen to draw around these templates onto your felt. You're going to need 8 of the larger size, 4 of the medium size and 6 of the smaller size. Then cut these rectangles out. Next cut each piece of felt into a leaf shape, like so. Again keep a small straight edge on one end to go on the base of the plant. You may note that I have 8 of the small rectangles here rather than 6, so please just ignore that, that was a mistake. Once you've cut out one leaf of each size, you can use these as a template for cutting out the rest. Apply a little bit of glue to the right hand edge of all but one of the smallest felt pieces. This line of glue should go from the flat base most of the way up the side but it should stop before the point. Attach these pieces together, like so, into an arch shape. Once the glue is dry, apply a line of glue across the base of these leaves. Roll them up from either end into a spiral shape. This will be the centre of the plant. 
Apply a little bit of glue to the base of each of the medium sized leaves and attach these to the central spiral. Attach the first two on opposite sides of the spiral and then attach the next pair at 90 degrees to those. The aim of this plant design is to make the outer leaves look as symmetrical as possible. Then do the same for the largest leaves by adding them two at a time on opposite sides. You want the last four leaves to sit in the gaps of the previous layer. And that's the second plant design completed. The third plant design is kind of like a spiky air plant and it's a good one to use at the edge of a display. To make this you'll first need a paper rectangle that measures 11 by 3.5 centimeters. Draw around this template six times onto felt and then cut these shapes out. You'll need to cut each of these rectangles into a bottom heavy leaf shape with a straight edge at the base, like so. Then add a little glue at the base of each leaf and pinch the sides together to make them into 3D shapes. Once dry, attach these leaves together at the base. I like to attach three together side by side first, and then add two on top and then one on the back. Really, it's whatever you think looks good. And that's it, that's the third plant completed. I really hope you join me for the rest of the series and thank you very much for watching.